Hello, now I'm going to talk about architecture of QMS Q system. First of all, we have database. Database can be MySQL or H2. H2 is a built-in database. Other most important part of QMS Q system is server. Server connects to database and load all information for working. Server uh, loads all information during starts. I mean uh, when server starting is starting uh, it is loading all information for working and next all, uh, just working. Uh, this is a reason why uh, we need to restart server when we change some information in database by administration application. How to uh, configure configure um, connection to database <coughs> for server and administration? For for that, we have admdbcom just started, and here we can see a list of connections configured. Focal connections database uh, for server and um, administration application. Uh, we can do it by the same way. Just one application for configure connection for server and um, administration application. Okay. Next. What we can see here, uh, we can see what only server and administration application uh, connects to database, nothing more. Only these two parts of QMS ecosystem uh, have connect to database. Uh, server uh, load uh, all information for for his for his work from database <coughs> during start uh, when when you change some uh, configuration of QMS by administration application after that you have to restart server if you want to apply your changes okay next one uh, as you can see mineboard is a part of server just I want to show you start server loading all information from database server is loading yeah done and uh, we can see mineboard this is mineboard mineboard is a part of um, server next one just close it for now next one <laughs> this one um, server can have uh, can has uh, plugins if you want to use application for for clients as a web application which you can see on the um, site uh, qms.info just operators up just uh, application for operators in a browser as a web application if you want to use it next you can put special plug in into server in folder www var folder this one this is a, a web application but this web application is a special plugin for uh, QMS Q system server. Okay, back to our picture and we can see our server, big server, mine part, mine board is a part of server and we have a <coughs> uh, plugins which we include into server. Okay. Once more, from administration application, we can configure mineboard. For that, 
please uh, be sure of what your server is working because administration application will send uh, commands directly to server for for configuring of mineboard okay next part it is a welcome point client app uh, application for operator and reception app application for reception in your wait hall okay <clears throat> Uh, this application will connect to server how to connect to server uh, uh, that application have to know about server as a uh, address of server and port uh, which port will use server just start start administration application and I'm going to show to you how to configure, how to specify the, the port for server. This one. Uh, this is um, administration application on uh, tab network anti mouse. Here we can see network settings. Uh, this one, uh, the port which will use server to listening to clients web server port it, it is a port for um, report subsystem and client port it is a port for UDP protocol which will be uh, used by a uh, server for sending information to client application yeah it is more important it is not TCP protocol it is a, a UDP protocol and the server sent by UDP protocol some information to client application on port which you can specify here ok now we can we can see here um, uh, settings for server port 3128 ok uh, what about client application just look on the picture for example uh, welcome point will connect to server on a port which can specify here by address of uh, computer for server and this data we can specify in a common file for example for for welcome here just edit it and here you can see parameters this one s it's mean uh, server address for localhost here and server port just 3128 and this one uh, is a um, client port which I need for client application for receive uh, some data by UDP protocol the same parameters you can find everywhere for example uh, for client for client just edit it and you can see the same parameters for connecting to server uh, of Q system and in uh, client common file you can fi find um, parameter CFD D uh, this one this is a um, parameter for configuration file of client board uh, this one uh, it is because uh, client board is a part of client application look on the picture as you can see here <coughs> client board is a part of client application for for running client application you have to start server before server yeah okay we'll start server start server demo because we have this one debug if you want to have a built-in HTTP server 
into uh, QMS uh, QSystem server, you have to specify this one parameter. Okay, start server. Mm -hmm. Loading all data from database before starting. Okay, loaded. Uh -huh. We can see my board, which including to server. Now we can start uh, some part of any part of uh, QMSQ system as a welcome yeah, and choose some servers. And now we can start client application. Starting, logging. Yeah, what we can see, this one, this is a form of application for, man, for managing uh, offline. And here we can see uh, in, uh, client board for indicating uh, information about invited client. Yeah. Uh, and of course, you can use uh, LED displays uh, for indicating, but this is other story, and for that you can use a, a special plugin for that. And of course, you, you can have, uh, you must have uh, devices, LED devices. Back to our picture. Here, what's more? As you can see here, internet, uh, you can offer you, your clients pre-registration pre uh, pre in, in a line through internet, via internet. For that, uh, you can have a special server, this glass fish. Glassfish is a web uh, server for application and um, deploy special uh, application into Glassfish, pre registration applications, configure it, it, and this application will connect to server 2, not to your database, just to server. That's all. And small notice for end. For ending our lessons for now. Uh, as you can see, my board here is a part of server. Sometimes it is uncomfortable. And uh, sometimes you need to have a mind board as a as the different part and uh, which will be in installed on, on the other computer. For this one situation, uh, you can use zone board server. What is this? Uh, this is a server which have only mine board and uh, you can connect server to that zone board server by plugin, special plugin which will send information from server to zone board server for for showing on the mind board. Thank you. Goodbye.